Welcome to TPL System Headquarters. My name is Thierry Gauthier. I am the founder and CEO. One thing that is going to happen today is a trip to France. I haven't been in France for quite a while actually and I'm looking forward to, to travel to the city of Toulouse. Now, what's in Toulouse? <laughs> is it? <laughs> Hi! Pick me up from the airport. Um, yes! <laughs> Mr. Costa, how are no, you doing? Very good. Good to see you. How are you. Good to see you. Nice flight? I had a very good flight. Welcome how to Toulouse. Yes, yeah, thank you very much. Alrighty. So, wow, we got a panorama roof. Always, always. Cool. Yeah, well, normally we get a lot of sunshine, so yeah. So you need to bring the sunshine into the car. <laughs> I can Soon. imagine. There you go. Seven dollars. No, no, <laughs> no, not really. TPL Systems has its headquarters in Sarla. That's where we're going to go later today. First, we're going to go to the R&D center here in Toulouse. It's a quarter of an hour drive, very nearby the airport, very efficient, like the French are. Is that true? What did, what did I say? Are the French efficient? 100% true. 100% true. So, we're here at TPL Systems and it says right over there, this is the research and development centers. Let me see. Good afternoon, gentlemen. That's Francis Ashiko. Yes. And we're going to have a little tour around the facility, is okay. it? Okay. Yes. All right. We are going to visit the, the R&D labs. We build a network solution, a digital network solution for the PMR market. Yes. And the, the interface is something that we call EDMR. You can hear he's French from his accent, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the building because you got all, you got about twenty three people working here. Let's okay. take a look. All okay. Right, perfect. Yeah. So let's go to the specification room. Yeah. So what is this, what is a specification room? So because we have a, a person, a guy who is in charge of the the, the, the the interface specification. Yes. And we're going to see him. All right. Okay. Good. So here you have a, so an example of the of the specification for the. And maybe you can see this is the EDMR in air interface. So it's around uh, 1,000 page pages of specification. So it's a huge. Specification. But you guys have some patents, really, as well, right? I think so. Yeah. Yes. We have. So where we go from here? So this is the software lab here. The software lab. Yes. yes. These people are working only on software. On the software, yes. Here you have the the, the ones in charge of the uh, the base stations. Yes. Software. And here the mobile software. So in, 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 the, in the mobile software, we have mainly two components. Mm -hmm. The first one is the protocol stack for the here interface. And the other one is uh, uh, something that we call the user interface stack. This, this, what the, 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 this is the software that the, the, the client, the, the customer show, uh, see. OK? OK. I can right. OK, let's take a look. The user interface is completely developed on, mm -hmm. the, on, the, on the host, mm -hmm. not on the embedded side. On the OK. Host. So, uh, we have also some simulator mm -hmm. that allow to run the complete software in the host. Okay. Okay. So it's on, very, on a computer. Yeah, on a computer. So it's very easy to develop, very easy to debug, and to measure performance. And you don't always need a radio. No, like, you don't need a radio. The good thing is that you can do everything on a computer as if you're doing at a normal radio. Yeah. That makes things much more easier and much more effective. Isn't it? To develop, to debug, you can you can you can work at home. You can work everywhere. So <laughs> so you can work from home. Yeah, if you want. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Moving to the next stage. Yeah. And the next room is... Uh, the test, test room? Test 
test room. Yeah. Test room. So uh, we have integration test. We are doing system test. We are doing key perform. We are measuring key performance indicator. For instance, uh, the uptime of the product, yes. etc. It's it's kind of automated testing. Yes. Here. Okay. Yeah. So what we're trying to do to achieve here is to to stress at the maximum the product. Stress test. Yes, okay. Stress. 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 So we are doing here a million of communication. Yes. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, and 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 so, for instance, to make some measurements such as the uptime mm -hmm. or the memory consumption or stuff like that. And here we have developed some code that allows to to dissect to show exactly what happened at the air interface. If you think that's everything, uh, there's there is actually this was the first floor. There's another floor. There's a, yeah. a ground floor where a lot of development also is being done. Seems like we're in a hurry, but we're not, are we? Oh, okay. So we, you can interrupt. This is where the magic happens. At the end. That at the end. At the end. At the end. Going to show me something very special. The burst. So it's the EDMR, EDMR burst. It's EDMR burst. On DMR, it's two bursts. In EDMR, it's three bursts. So we have that's something that we call TS0, TS1, TS2. That allow to make three communication simultaneously. Sorry for this word. It's very difficult for simultaneously. me. Simultaneously. <laughs> that's not what I know. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah. bird, what is so, so it, it needs to be controlled. It needs to be checked if the burst is there, if the burst is properly done. Yeah. And that's what you can see yes. here. Yeah. So working here at TPL Systems is good for the health because you, can, you walk up the stairs, you go down with the stairs, there's no elevator because you don't need an elevator. Okay, we're going this right here. What are we going to see here? Here you see the burst and we measure everything uh, to compare if all the signal are properly done by the radio. So you can see here if the signal is according to the specifications. Exactly. Right? Now Francis, yes. there is another room. We did a lot of software stuff right now, but what is software without the hardware? You need the shell around the, 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 the software, right? Yes, you are very good. So we are moving to the hardware. Going that room. Right, gentlemen. So you manage all of the hardware, you, yeah. from pagers to radios. From pagers to radio EDMR. That's pretty small, right? So that's yeah. that's why you need a micro, micro yeah, of microscope course. for. Yeah. Okay, I understand. So what you see here yes, it's it's the the is exactly the what you see over here. Connector. That's another one. That's the mobile radio, it's right? A mobile. Yes. Well, it's a portal, that 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 yeah, is the inside one. of a mobile radio. <laughs> Amazing. I now now understand why you guys are so slim here. <laughs> You're so fit. <laughs> You're doing some running as well, yeah, in the office. <laughs> Alright. What we have seen upstairs, yeah. this little motherboard with all of the that's actually something like that. Yes. Yeah. But of the rest they, they write some uh, some some schematic on paper, okay. You take care of putting that on the computer. First of all, you have to make the PCB, right? So it's very complex. So many layers, I think 10 layers? Yes, uh, six layers. Six layers. It's six layers of PCB. Six layers of PCB. Cooper. Wait a minute, this is 10 layers of copper? Yes. <laughs> How many prints are on this one? How many uh, uh, com uh, components? How many components, components are? 1,000. Uh, 1,000 components. So this is so important for TPL systems. They hired a dedicated person to do that. Yeah, to do yes. that. And to that's do you. PCB, right? I am Atman the R&D manager for paging solution in TPL system. So here you have one part of the um, team involved in our software development. Let me show you uh, the, the product that we are developing here. For example, here you have the Birdy 3G, which is a, a POXAG receiver with a back channel with a 2G, 3G and 4G uh, transceiver. Here you have a Birdy Slim, 
which is also a small transmitter and uh, obviously a receiver box side. And this one is a, a gateway, which is a receiver and a small transmitter for POCSAC solution for in-house application, indoor application. So we're done. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Thank you very much for your time. That, that is just the engineering team here. It is um, five o'clock in the afternoon. It's another one half hour, one hour and 15 minutes drive to Sarlat, which is a little bit more in the north of France. Um, but Jose is driving, maybe we're there in 45 minutes. We'll see what happens. When the, uh, the local police know that uh, Mr. Gert van Wolf was coming to uh, the south of France, <laughs> they asked me to, uh, to have a specific escort he's for talking, him. He's talking rubbish, man. But it's true, look, look. <laughs> That's the escort. Yes,